it brings me great pleasure and honor to introduce our distinguished speaker, Stephen Schwartz. He is the chief economist for Asia at BBVA. He's worked during the Asian financial crisis in Thailand and has been chief economist in Jakarta from 2002 to 2008, representing the IMF. We've maintained more or less our projections for Europe and the US, but all of this put together means a slightly weaker outlook than we had a few months ago, but still one where we expect global growth to pick up from 2.9% this year to 3.6% next year. Well, the good news is that for most economies in the region, we think 2014 will be higher growth than the outturns in 2013, which themselves were pretty good. The exceptions are we think Japan will probably slow, as will the Philippines. Those economies grew very fast in 2013, boosted by fiscal stimulus. That should wear off in 2014. But for most of the rest of the region, we think the favorable external demand environment should lead to somewhat higher growth rates in 2014. As you can see on the right-hand side, the Asia region will continue to be the fastest growing region in the world. North Asia is doing comparatively well, and that's because North Asia tends to specialize in final consumer goods. China is really embarking now on a new wave of reforms in order to maintain their longer term growth. They talk about shifting away from achieving high growth rates as an end in themselves, away from quantitative targets and more toward qualitative targets. The financial sector is a big component of that, and they're focusing on the domestic side to liberalize interest rates, shore up the banking system, and then to open the capital account and allowing more flows in and out of the country. But over time, what this means for China's integration with the global economy is greater capital flows with the rest of the world. Up until now, the impact of the global economy on China has mainly been through the trade channel. Over time, the financial channel will play a bigger role, and we're seeing that through the very rapidly growing internationalization of the RMB. So that is a trend that will continue and itself will be a catalyst for further reforms. So, you know, it's a pretty good story. Growth is picking up, currencies appreciating, inflation's low, so why all the fuss? Why every day are we reading about all of these worries about China? And the reason is we're worried about the medium term. We have to get used to the idea of greater volatility in, in China's growth and also China's financial markets. China's played a very important stabilizing role to the global economy back during the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s and more recently in 2008-9 during the global financial crisis. Once China opens up and international capital flows really pick up, uh, we're going to see volatility in China like we see in other market economies. All of that QE tapering probably brought about some correction, a healthy correction, but it's probably not completely over so that once QE tapering starts, we think there may be some further downside in the short run to emerging market assets. But a lot of the adjustment has taken place. Uh, Asia is going to have to deal with a lot of volatility and capital flows once QE tapering begins. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some tinkering of macro prudential measures. And then finally, as part of the effort to bolster financial systems, uh, there will be greater efforts on disclosure requirements, uh, risk compliance. So that's a long-term trend that uh, will continue, and, and uh, banks need to be positioned in 2014 for that, too. We get asked a lot, is this a possible repeat of the crisis that gripped Asia in 97? In my view, the answer is no. The regulatory outlook for the coming years is going to really be marked by the global initiatives underway to try to prevent a repeat of the crises we saw in 2008-9, along with Basel III. And I think most uh, countries in the region are well placed to implement Basel III on time. Uh, most banking systems in the region are well capitalized. There's still strong liquidity across the region.